All right, you know what we haven't done in a while? Some GeoGuessr. Also, yes, I'm, I'm still sick, but a lot of these videos were recorded in advance because of people being off for the holidays and things like that. Hopefully by the time this goes up, I'm not still sick, but you never know, it could linger for a while. Let's do a, a hardcore mode again on the global scale and hope for the best. Okay. Wow, I would not want to drive on this road. Look at these potholes. Why are these houses like, why do they have holes in them? Oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna guess that this is somewhere in yeah, Russia, probably, given the Cyrillic. I feel like we have to have at least one Russia guess for every single round, if not more. This looks like a Call of Duty map, dude. Wait, and there are people here. I was kind of expecting this to be a ghost town, like 50,000 people used to live here, but no longer. Is that, does that say like post office or something like that? Post day, and it has like a post office box there? I don't know, this is creeping me out. I don't want to be here. I'm gonna, and all the trees are dead too. <laughs> like if, if it wasn't enough that the buildings are blown out, like dead trees, I just, there are ghosts here, okay? I don't really believe in ghosts, but I think there are ghosts here. So I'm gonna get out. Where are we gonna guess? Somewhere, somewhere over here in Russia. It could also be Ukraine, but I'm just gonna, let's, let's go with that. Hey, that's not in Russia, but it's still 2000 points. All right, we were over in Bulgaria. We've gotten Bulgaria before, but yeah, that was one where I, I did like a random Hail Mary guess from being in a park and I got it, but not, not so good this time. Oh well, that's okay. We are probably somewhere in the United States right now is what I'm thinking just based upon this house right here. I don't know why I have a feeling it's US. It could also not be, but you know, the for sale sign out front kind of reminds me of US. I can't really see any signs that confirm it though is the only problem, but it, I, I kinda kinda get the feeling we're somewhere in the United States. The question is where though? I don't know. Somewhere in the middle of the country? I'm gonna guess like a, like a Missouri. Somewhere in that area. And we'll see how it goes. We're all the way in Maine. Hey, I got the US part, okay? Give me some credit, because I really had nothing to go off of there other than just the for sale sign and the house and the general flora and fauna around the area. Anyway, okay, okay, it could be worse. This doesn't really look like, oh yeah, 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 we're driving on the left side of the road here. So this could be like New Zealand, it could be Australia. Why do they all have to be so far apart? Someone who lives in one of those places watching this right now is like, well, that is clearly a stop sign from fill in the blank. I'm feeling Australia more than South Africa, but it, you know, it's gonna be the, it's gonna be that Schrodinger's cat sort of deal. Oh boy, dude. Oh geez. Oh, I just don't know. Would you get a, would you get a palm tree? Do you get palm trees in Africa? Is that common? You get palm trees in Australia. Is that common either? Also New Zealand is a possibility. Oh dear. Okay, New Zealand and Australia are closer together. So I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just throw down over here on the eastern coast of Australia and hope for the best. I knew that was gonna, I knew that was gonna happen. Beyond a shadow of a doubt, I knew that would happen. God dang it. Always the opposite of what I guess, always. 100% of the time is the opposite of what I guess. Okay, we are in the United States here, for sure. I only have 4,000 points, this is not my proudest moment. I've at least effectively guessed the country that we're in each of these times, just not actually guess the country that I said. Somewhere in the US. Where, where, let's do the whole South Dakota guess here and, and hope for the best. <laughs> let's say, hey, that could be a lot worse. All right, we're over in Wisconsin, 3,500 points. Not so bad, not so bad. Where are we at now? Not actually got a clue. Europe, somewhere, but without the ability to move around, this is a real toughie. I have this is like zero to go off of. It's a very nice looking road. Just, I wanna drive on this. Look at how well maintained it is. Ooh, it looks so pretty. Can I take my car here? I'm gonna guess like the Netherlands or something like that. And we'll see how it goes. Somewhere in Europe, I'm pretty confident, but let's let's guess Netherlands or Belgium or something like that. And okay, all right, Denmark, 3,800 points. You guys got some nice roads over there in Denmark. I mean, I can't say I'm really surprised by that. What did we get? Hey, I broke 10,000 and it had it not been for this colossal screw up down here, which always happens, we would have been even further. Okay, that's fine. We can do it again. We can do it again. We can do even better. Maybe we won't get a South Africa, Australia. What is this? Wow. 
You know what? M mad respect to the Google Street View driver here. Like, what are you doing? But wow, you, you're dedicated to your job. Just driving through lakes. This road, okay, we've gone from beautiful Danish roads to, oh God, why are we here? I don't know about this job anymore, Rhodes. Yeah, speaking of absolutely nothing to go off of, I don't know why I'm feeling Brazil on this one, but every time we get more like orangey roads, I kind of feel like it's Brazil. But it could also be, watch it be like South Africa again or something like that. I'm just gonna guess Brazil. I, every time we get slightly orangey roads, I feel like it's Brazil. It's usually when you get that, it's the lower res cameras from a while ago. I don't know, but where else, where else would I guess? No, I'm just gonna, we're just gonna get us down here in Brazil. Come on, come on, give it to me, give it to me. Freaking Mexico, oh God! If I had guessed Mexico, it would have been Brazil, I swear to God. We got our counterparts here. We have South Africa and Australia. We have Mexico and we have Brazil. And no matter what, I'm always gonna guess the wrong one. <sighs> I'm getting more of that or the orange vibes here, okay? More of the orange landscape vibes. It's gonna be, it's, I'm gonna guess Brazil again, and it is gonna be Mexico again, and I am gonna die. Okay, the palm trees over there, very indicative of Brazil. This, you know, the orange clay, very indicative of Brazil. Please be Brazil, okay? Please, 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 please. Somewhere in here again, somewhere in here. Come on, come on. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I, I was not gonna tolerate it happening twice in a row, okay. See, I wasn't off base on the last one, you gotta admit it, like, it was a decent guess, my Brazil one, because usually you have, it's like the orange clay is very Brazil, but I didn't see palm trees, and there are usually palm trees when it's Brazil, so I should have taken that into account. All right, we are in Japan, I'm gonna assume right now. You know, sadly, with all the anime that I've watched recently, I've still not learned how to actually read Japanese, so that's a bummer. It's not gonna help me out here, but uh, at the very least, I'm, you know, part of me would have been like, oh, it could be South Korea, but South Korea does not have a Google Street View. I've tried to look before. So, anywho, let's see. We're just gonna have to take a, a wild guess on this one and uh, put her down somewhere uh, over. See, the problem is Japan is actually, it's a, it's uh, there's a lot to go off of here. It's pretty significant. Like, I, I feel like people oftentimes think Japan is pretty small, but it is straight up the si like bigger than the size of the entire U.S. West Coast from south to north. So it's pretty significant. And I'm gonna I'm gonna guess somewhere in around Tokyo because why not? And kind of see how we do it. It is actually South Korea. I didn't think South Korea had street view. I'm not an idiot. I was like, man, those do look like Korean characters, but I swear to God, there are, South Korea does not have Street View. Maybe it's that, cause I've, uh, maybe it's that I'm confusing it cause they don't do, so you know how Google uh, Google Maps, you can do the, like the 3D view where it actually has 3D models of all the buildings, which is goddamn impressive, by the way. But South Korea doesn't have that. You can't like tilt the map and get the topographical view of everything. Maybe I confused it and there is Street View. Oh, well, obviously there's Street View in some places, as we now know, but man, it's like those definitely look like Korean characters, not Japanese. Dang it! Mm. This is quite interesting, isn't it? It kind of feels like, feels like Wyoming or something like that, but I just don't know. Okay, yeah, you're driving on the right side of the road, so at least we got that part. We're not in like South Africa, we're not in Australia, so thank you truck I appreciate you being there because I don't really have much else to go off of I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna guess Wyoming here that is wow not okay no nah, that's that's just, just bad but then again I didn't have much to go off of so oh boy 5,000 I'm gonna have to get on point with this guess even though there is again zero to go off of I don't know why I'm feeling France on this one I, I think I've seen that sort of road sign before in France and that's why I'm thinking it. But I, again, like there's actually nothing I can go off of here other than the one sign and the, the line on the middle of the road. <sighs> oh boy. Okay. 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 South of France, somewhere down here. Okay. It's Russia. Honestly, I should have gone with my gut and gone with the Russia guess. Like whenever it's just kind of a rural, very green white lines in the middle of the road, it's usually Russia. But I was thinking mm, maybe I'll be a little bit more. Nope. Mm, this is not well done. 
I don't think you know what that word means, but 6,000 points is not well done. Let's redeem ourselves. Oh my God. Well, I'm uh, inside of a car dealership, so that's good. We know it's likely in Europe because it's a Renault dealership. Well, uh, hey, you know what? We might be playing hardcore mode, but I feel like I, you know, if we're inside, I deserve a little bit of leniency to rock around the dealership. Atahas, oh, we do, we're in Germany for sure. Okay, definitely. Atahas, something, Kon Konig, is Konig a, a city in Germany? Or maybe they just, the, the owner of this aspires to, you know, be a Koenigsegg dealership at some point because that would actually be a lot more exciting. So let's see, Germany, Koenig, is that a city that we can find? Right on, I'm just gonna take a wild guess because I don't know if Koenig is a city or if it is where. So we're just gonna guess near one of the big ones like uh, Cologne and Frankfurt. Let's see how it goes. It was closer to Berlin. Is, the, is Koenig a city? It appears not. Okay, so I'm glad I didn't waste more of my time trying to look around, but hey, 4,000 points, not bad. Okie dokie, oh, oh wow, once again. You're, it's like, why are we here? Look at this dust trail. Oh my God. Very dedicated, dedicated Google Maps Street View employee here. And because I see the eucalyptus, I'm gonna go with Australia. That's like the, that's the tip that I've heard. The tip of the day is if you see the eucalyptus, go with Australia and hope for the best. Somewhere along the Eastern coast. Hey, well, it was in Tasmania. That's a first we've gotten here, but at least close enough. Thank goodness I went on the western coast instead of way over there. That would have been really bad. All right, I'll take it. 3,300 points, a little bit of redemption so far until until we get to something that's more difficult. Is that, it's gonna be really embarrassing, but um, I don't know what country's flag that is. Red, white, and blue seems to be very common colors. I know, I know someone is just yelling right now. Like, God, you idiot. That's obviously blank's flag, but. Why does every country have to use red, white, and blue? It gets confusing. Kind of guessing that it is somewhere kind of more Eastern Europe, right? Somewhere along the lines of like a, a Poland, uh, uh, Czech Republic, Slovakia, something like that, right? Uh, it could be like, yeah, it could be like Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia, one of those. I just don't know. I'm going to go with Poland because that often seems to be the case. And it could, it's like kind of midway in between all the other countries that it could be in. So let's guess Poland. Okay. Okay. Serbia. Not, I, I could have, you, whatever. It's close enough. You know, I, I at least wasn't completely off base with my reasoning. What are we at? We're at over 10,000 points with two more rounds to go. Not bad. So now we're definitely in a place with nothing to go off of. I don't have a sign to go off of. I have nothing but the sky, some buildings. Oh dear, this could really be anywhere. Obviously, it's only one possible location, but really it, I, oh boy. Where would you find a big lake in the United States? In a lot of places. Where'd you find a dam? Lots of places. Where'd you find any of these things? All over the world. Oh dear, you can't fault me. I have nothing to go off of on this one. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna disappear. Northern United States. That's just, okay. Yep, yep, over, yep, definitely would have, yeah, that's, that definitely would have gotten that one. How could, how did I not figure that one out? Mm -mm. You know, I did have my doubts about the U.S. given the, uh, given the structures. The houses didn't look like very U.S. architecture, but yeah, that, that was, that, that wasn't happening. Nope, not at all. 64 points at least, so uh, I appreciate that. At least it could have got, it couldn't gotten worse. Just when I was saying it could have gotten worse, we have entered GeoGuessr Outer Space Edition. So I don't think this location is actually on the map. We've we've entered a black hole, the center of the Milky Way. I believe we need a new map here. It needs to be a map of the galaxy. And I'll guess right in the middle, that big black hole in the middle. Right on. So why don't we uh, why don't we guess Russia? Because it seems to be that Russia is the most common place for us to land. So here we go. Explorer, that's an even 10. And you just keep, what do you mean? What do you mean that's an even 10? Like that, that's, okay, great. Hey, that is pretty close. Oh, 2,700 points for our black hole guess, woo! I just did it based on probability that we usually end up in Russia more often than not. So hey, 
Ukraine is close by. Thanks. Appreciate that one. That's about as far away as I've ever actually guessed on something before. But hey, at least I doubled the points we got last time. So anyway, uh, I guess, you know, we'll end it there for this round of GeoGuessr. Thanks so much for watching. I, I hope you've enjoyed. Make sure to like if you like. Check out the playlist in the description if you want to catch more GeoGuessr videos. Subscribe if you're not already. And uh, leave it off there. See you next time.